Hello and welcome to WP Matt. In this video, we'll be learning about Carousel Widget. Let me show you a demonstration. From Elements Kit landing page, go to Elements Demo. After that, Product Carousel. And if you scroll down, there you'll find the Carousel Widget. In the first style, you'll have the Add to Cut button over the image, and in the right side, you have the arrow key. In style 2, you have the Add to Cut button at the bottom of the image, and you have the sweeping feature here. At the bottom, you'll find the dots. The style 3 is a mixture of the style 1 and 2, where you have the dot and the arrow key. The style 4 is quite a bit simple and minimalist, where you have the arrow key button, dot, and the product image. If you click on the I button, you can see the product image in a bigger size. Now let's see how you can use this demo. Open any page with Elementor Page Builder. After that, you'll find an Elements Kit button. Click on there, then go to Widget Presets. After that, in the left side, you'll find all the widgets. From here, you'll need to find Product Carousel Widget. There you can see the Product Carousel. Click on it, and after that, you'll find all the available demo content. If you want to install any of them, open it, then you'll find the Initial button. Now click on the button. After that, the demo will be installed in your website. If you want to modify this demo, click on this little icon and in the left side you'll find all the settings to modify this demo. Now in this video I'll show you how you can use this product carousel widget from the scratch. Let's remove this one. Now let's see how to do this. From Elements Kit widget panel, search U product and there you'll find U product carousel. Drag and drop on your page and from the settings you need to select the categories. I don't want to use uncategorized category. Now let's see some of the other options that will help you to display your product in a decorated way. The first option is the product limit. Right now it's 8 but let's make it 4. After that let's see the preview. In the preview page you can see these 4 images are coming repeatedly. In order to make you understand clearly I have to disable the loop. From carousel settings, disable the loop, again update it and go to the font page. And there you can see when I'm trying to see the another product, I can see it. Now from filter, let's make the product limit 5 and update it. Right now, let's try to see the last product. And there you can see the last product. And after that, we'll have the show product by, which is category and product. Right now, the product will be shown by the category but if you select product, on that time you can select any specific product. In order by, you can show the product by date, title, category or random. I want to show it by title. And then you have order. In here you can show the product in ascending order or descending order. I want to show the product is ascending order. Then you have layout. In layout, you can show the content in vertical or horizontal. Then you have the flip content. And after that, you'll have the most important part, which is the column part. In desktop mode, I want to show three products in row. In tablet column, I want to show two. And in mobile, I want to show one. And then the column gap comes in. Then you have the product image. In here, I want to select the full size image. And then some other options come, like do you want to show the rating or not, pricing, add to cut buttons. I don't want to show rating now, but I want to show the categories. Now go to the carousel settings, there you have the autoplay speed. If you want to keep the autoplay on that time you have to open it otherwise you have to disable it. Then you have the animation speed, after that the navigation part comes in where you can show dot, none, arrow and arrow and dot. Right now it's disabled, let's show the dot and there you have only one dot. In order to get multiple dot I need to select categories. Now again go to the navigation and see the arrow and there you have the arrow icon. Now let's see arrow and dot. Update it, go to the front page and then you have the arrow and dot. From the style tab you can work with the color, typography and spacing. In item tab you have the background color options and background color options on hover. Then you have the content options. There you have the content from the left side, from center and from the right side. There you can also provide the background color. After that, the title color comes in. 
I want to show the title color white and in hover I want to make it black. After that some other options come like the title typography, price color and margin. Then you have the image options. From here you can give padding to the image, margin and background color. You can also apply the overlay. Now let's go to the button and there you can control the add to cut button. I want to use a black background for the add to cut button and there you can see it's working. You can also choose any icon for the add to cut button. You can select the position and border radius. I don't want to use any border radius for the button. After that you can also work with the badge and navigation. Let's work with the navigation right now. In navigation part you can select the previous button icon and the next button icon. Let's select the previous button icon. From here select this one and insert it. After that you can see these are the buttons. You can work with the background color of the button. The background color I want to use black. Then you can work with the arrow color. I want to use white color. Then you have the horizontal offset and the vertical offset. Let's modify the vertical offset. Then you can work with the dot. In here you can give a dot color, hover color and the active color. Now let's see the categories. In here you can work with the category color, hover color and the typography. So these are the settings that will help you to modify anything of this carousel widget. If you want to know more about Elements Kit or Product Widgets, please check the description. Thank you for watching this video.